Libra, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Right. How do you see yourself in this connection, Libra? How do you see yourself in this connection? Okay. How does this person see themselves in this connection? How does this person see themselves in this connection? What are your two thoughts? Okay, we'll take it. <laughs> All right. What's the current situation? What's the current situation? You're walking away, babe. Libra, walking away, taking a leap of faith, getting out of your comfort zone, you know, just wanting to start a brand new chapter without this person out here. You're walking away emotionally, okay? You're finally gathering your shit together, finding that emotional strength to walk away from this person. This person that you're dealing with, okay, now they're feeling really bad about the way they fucked up, okay? And uh, they can't move on from you. This person wants to come back. They're making a U-turn and they're coming back. They tried to probably walk away from you, okay? But they're not being able to. They're coming back right now, okay? But keep in mind the way they're coming back, right? Yes, they're putting their swords down, okay? This person was uh, sabotaging the connection. They were playing a lot of mind games with you, you know? Um, you know, pushing your way, pushing what they always wanted. They were trying to win at any cost here. Communication was shitty, okay, with this person out here. They realized their mistakes. And they wanted to come back. But the problem here is when they come back, they're still going to go through the same cycle over and over again. All right, so they're still not doing what they're supposed to do in order to get the get the ball rolling. So it's like they come back again, the same shit, different day. Okay, let's see. What? Uh, how do you view this person, Libra? How does Libra view this person? How does Libra view the person that they're dealing with? <laughs> how does this person view Libra? How does this person view Libra? How does this person view Libra? Mm -hmm. What is the mutual energy? What is the mutual energy? I just did a reading for uh, Virgo. Virgo had the same thing, same position. All right. Uh, what is the root of the issue between Libra and the person they're dealing with? What is the root of the issue between Libra and the person they're dealing with? What is the root of the issue between Libra and the person they're dealing with? What does Libra feel deep down for this person? What does Libra feel deep down for this person that they're dealing with? What does Libra feel deep down for the person they're dealing with? What does this person feel deep down for Libra? What does this person feel deep down for Libra? Wow. Whoa. Nice. Okay. You know, everyone's getting the justice here. Everyone getting a reunion. Okay. What action will Libra take towards this person moving forward? What action will Libra take towards this person moving forward? What action will Libra take towards this person moving forward? What action will Libra take towards this person moving forward? <laughs> You're minding our business. What does this what action will this person take towards Libra moving forward? What action will this person take towards Libra moving forward? No, I want one card. What action will this person take towards Libra moving forward? Whoa, Libra, what's go what the hell is going on, baby? You got the lovers with the king of pentacles and not only this person is getting into alignment with you, this person realizes what they want. They're making a very fair choice, a very, very um, fair decision about wanting commitment with you, about choosing you and only you. And with the king of pentacles here yeah, too, this person's ready to commit. They're ready to give you that stability, security. You know why? You know why? Because you are seeing things very, very clearly for what it is. And with the Empress out here, you ain't got no time for this bullshit. The Empress out here, you got your shit together, baby. You're abundant. You're uh, the price out here, okay? And you're acting like it. That's what I'm saying, you know? The Empress out here, she is just attracting. You're attracting, you know, um, you're attracting this person, you know? Like a bee. To a hun to honey, yeah, that's what they say, right? Like bee to honey. Wow, you're coming up as so sexy, so attractive, so badass. Good. What is the immediate future between Libra and the person they're dealing with? What is the immediate future between Libra and the person they're dealing with? What is the immediate future between Libra and the person they're dealing with? This person wants you. Wow, we have the Queen of Cups with the Queen of Wands here. You know what? 
this person's emotionally attached to you or you're emotionally attached to this person is what I'm getting here but you're still going to do what you got to do is what I'm getting here so the love is there okay the love is there but you're still going to do what you got to do is what I'm getting here let's see we're still going to find out could be two people but this could be one person too I just I think this is you who still loves this person here you're still emotionally attached you still want those emotions you, you love it's like you can still love a person and still move away and still not say anything and walk away is what i'm getting at that's what the outcome looks like to me all right why is the fool here why is the fool here why is the fool here you're moving towards new love is it or just moving towards something new it's like you have this new inspiration you know, to walk away, new inspiration to just move away from something that doesn't make you happy and just move, follow your heart, you know, and your heart probably tells you, you know what, maybe it's just not working out. Um, give me a collective card for the six of swords in reverse and the five of swords in reverse. Give me a collective card for the six of swords in reverse and the five of swords in reverse. Eight of cups. Is that you? No, I don't think that's you. This person here is definitely... See, Eight of Cups twice. So I feel now this person out here is finding the emotional strength, okay? To uh, get that shit together, okay? So now Eight of Cups doesn't always mean walking away from a connection, which is happening in the current situation from your side. But their side here, I feel like this is someone here who probably knows what they want. They're leaving their comfort zone and now they're walking towards you is what I'm getting here. What's the current situation in the Eight of Cups? Why is the current situation here as the Eight of Cups? Yeah, see, you're moving forward quickly. You're like quick, you know, you're just like wanting to like just rush out of this person's life. You're releasing, taking action, manifesting, moving forward here. This person out here is releasing whatever they couldn't, uh, whatever they sabotaged, okay? They're, they're releasing all those uh, negative um, thoughts, negative words, negative patterns, okay? And this person out here is coming towards you is what I'm getting here. Why is the Nine of Swords here? You view them as someone who's stressing. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Probably now you feel that this person out here is uh, has a lot of remorse and regret about what they did. Why is the Nine of Swords here? You know, you could even see them as someone who has a very negative mindset. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. You see them as someone who now wants to invest into you. Okay, But your guards are up here. Your guards are up. You're just being very, very uh, logical, emotionally detached from this person is what I'm getting here. What's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? They see you as the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So probably they see you as a missed opportunity. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? They love you. They love you. Queen of Cups. How many times are you going to come out? This person has a lot of love for you. I feel now this person has like that realization, okay, about what they want with you. They see you as a missed opportunity. What's the Ten of Cups in reverse? Ten of Cups in reverse. They're not taking action there's a lack of planning from this person side if they plan well they wouldn't miss an opportunity here but they keep missing opportunities here even though they love you but they won't they, they keep missing the opportunities here but uh this person does see you as someone who's very nurturing very caring you know what's the ten of cups in reverse this is the mutual energy why are you both unhappy ten of cups in reverse why is that here Nine of Cups, because probably uh, you both see each other as a wish fulfillment out here, but one person out here was not being able to give you that full-fledged commitment or a full-fledged relationship is what I'm getting, you know, which is why the other person has suffered a lot, you know, Libra. But you both see each other as very, very happy where you are, I think, is that's what I'm getting here. But it's just that you're both very unhappy because things didn't work out the way you planned it to. Justice, this is the root of the issue. Someone needs to be fair. Someone needs to be uh, getting what they deserve, okay? Now, whether this is them who needs to get what they deserve, karmic justice, or whether you need to get what you deserve. And you deserve justice. You deserve commitment. You deserve something where the amount of energy that you've invested, you need to get that, you know, reciprocity back. Justice, why is that here? Three of Wands. Planning. Patience. Patience, patience. Um, tell me, why is the two of swords in reverse here? Now, three of wands is also the card of where you need to wait. Someone's probably planning 
okay brainstorming a lot about how they can make it work out with you is what i'm getting this person may be quiet but they're doing a lot of work you know behind the scenes what's the two of swords in reverse yeah you see things very very clear for what it is and you're just moving forward okay you're being very passionate you know it's like you're getting your confidence and your self-esteem exact everything back you lack a lot of security and confidence in this relationship and now you're gaining that back and now you're just thinking about yourself what's the lovers what's the lovers here why is this in this person's feelings what's the lovers here this person what's the lovers here eight of swords this person here is very stuck on you. They can't move. They feel restricted and tied to you. They feel they can't think about anything else except you. They want your attention is also what I'm getting here. This person misses the attention. This person misses you. And they just feel stuck to you. You know, They feel like there is nothing else that they can do. They can only think about you. What's the Empress? This is the action that you take. What's the Empress? Three of Cups. What's the king of pentacles? What's the king of pentacles? What's the king of pentacles? Okay. That was God here. Pair of swords. This person chooses to watch you, but deep within they want commitment with you. This person is still hurting here. Uh, with the empress and the three of cups here, I feel you're reaching a point where you're absolutely content and happy with the, play, with, with the way you are. You know, the Three of Cups is a very, very fine energy. It's where you're just celebrating, you're having good conversations, you're trying to hang out with people that make you happy on an emotional level. A lot of happiness coming from your side here. Okay, it's like a wonderful uh, thing to do. You're probably partying, chilling here, family functions, you know. But uh, this indicates that um, probably you're uh, getting into a lot of social gatherings but you're chilling you could even be dating out here but you're likely to be in very high spirit okay and just ready to have a wonderful time you, none of this has to do with this person you've just moved on from this person is what i'm getting here this person is stuck on you and they're watching you they're watching you how they can come towards you communicate they really love you they want you they want commitment with you they want to move things forward okay because you seem to be in that badass energy but you're just you know enough i am enough is what i'm saying queen of cups here why is the queen of cups here why is the Queen of Cups here? No. This person loves you. <laughs> I've said that like a hundred times, Libra. Just accept it, okay? You both love each other with the Two of Cups here. There's a very strong connection. You're not going to be able to shift this. You're not going to be able to shake this off. Queen of Wands. Why is that here? Queen of Wands. King of Cups. This person has a lot of emotions. They may not be saying this to you, but they see you as the one that they want. You're the eye candy. You're the price. Okay. You're the one that they're zoned on to and you're the one that uh, they want. So this person feels a lot. They uh, love you to the moon and back, but they're not the best at expressing their emotions here. The love is there. They want this connection with you. I think this person is eventually going to come towards you and offer you commitment, relationship, marriage, propose you, whatever that is. Because they see you as a missed opportunity here and now it's like that realization is coming in that I need to get out of my comfort zone and walk towards Libra and just give them what they deserve. Okay, that's why they're planning out here. So they may take a little time but they're eventually coming in out here. You know, not in the immediate, in the, uh, like say probably not this week out here but eventually they will. Okay, they will. Because it's all in their action, it's in their fields, it's, you know, they're not happy without you. You are their wish fulfillment. Yes, they come off as a little selfish, where they want you, when they want you. But, yeah, you don't care, so how does it matter, right? You don't care. But yeah, they're getting out of their comfort zone, for sure. Okay, and walking towards you. Once you are walking out of this connection give me one more card for the eight of cups and eight of wands as the current situation for libra one more card for the eight of cups and eight of wands for the current situation between libra and the person they're dealing with yeah <clears throat> looks like you're making a choice to walk away you're making a choice to walk away it's like you made a decision and it's like you want to implement on the decision like now that's fast action that's Picking up momentum and just walking away. Like, you know what? I'm done. Let's just get out of here. Okay? That's going to be up to you. All right? So, but they're coming in. And um, they love you. They want you. That's your twin flame. That's two of cups. That's your soulmate. And they want to offer you something stable now that you don't give a fuck to them. Okay? So, that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates. Bye-bye.